All right, let's get some easy money with Trey Young, man. And I like Fox. Hold on. I like Fox. Side set for the three. Still stop playing with me, bro. I know. I know he's pulling a three. I know he is. I'm there. I am there. I am there. What is good, YouTube? We are back here for another video, and today I know you guys have been asking for one of my very, very loyal subscribers has been asking for this Hawks re, but he really wanted to see what we're gonna be doing with the Hawks, and of course, on Yeka Okungu. That was a really good fit. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, first off, check out my brand new official rebuilding series with the OKC Thunder. I'll put a link to it in the description below, as well as any type right here in corner. Check out the series, it's gonna be flames. And if you guys want to see another rebuild, you guys have been showing so so much love lately. It just motivates me to just keep on going and get better and better. But for another rebuild, let's get 120 likes. You guys have been smashing that like button and showing so much support on the channel. I know y'all boys can go ahead and do it. But the Atlanta Hawks has been one of the biggest users of this year's offseason. I mean, they've made so many changes. Of course, they got Trey Young and John Collins, but they brought in Gallinari. We're finally going to be able to see Clint Capella play. They picked up Rondo. Obviously, they picked up Onyeka with the sixth overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. Kind of a surprising pick, but if they want to have him replace Clint, it could work out. They picked up Chris Dunn. What is with all these point guards, my guy? But they got all those guys. And of course, we're bringing back Kevin Huter, DeAndre Hunter, and the homie Cam Reddish. You guys know exactly how much of a fan of Cam Reddish your boy is. This is a pretty interesting team. So let me know who we should rebuild next, and let's get straight into it because for season number one, I ain't making no type of moves at all. This is literally their roster for next season. And I don't know how they want to play this. They have so many young pieces on this team, and I feel like bringing in guys like Gallinari and R Rondo maybe makes sense, but like... Well, a lot of these guys are just cutting into the minutes of these young players, so maybe it works out, maybe it doesn't, but regardless, guys, we're going to be simming to the end of this first season because, like I said, they made all these moves for a reason, and since this is a realistic rebuild, we're not going to be going too crazy, and before I forget, oh yeah, yeah, you got to make Trey Young untouchable, man. He ain't going nowhere, but let's get straight to the end of season number one because I've been simming, and sometimes Trey Young puts up MVP type numbers. And at the end of this season, hey, look at your boy Luca, man. Look, this ain't a Luca video, bro, but you guys already know that I keep on saying I think both teams won this trade. I said it a million times, and I'll say it again. The Hawks and the Mavericks won this trade. I don't think that there's really any losers here. But looking at it, guys, we were the eighth seed, and, you know, this is this is something that I think is possible. I think the Hawks can easily make the playoffs, especially in the Eastern Conference. But let's move on into something that you guys actually care about. And so far, there's nothing. But did Trey Young, Trey Young, he's on the All-NBA third team. I, he had to put up crazy numbers, man. 29 points. You guys already know, 29 and 9. I think that we're already headed into the right direction. And our boy Onyeka is All-NBA second team, and he was mainly a backup this season, like, he only had about 17 minutes a game, so he has a long ways to go, and yeah, we got we got Brooklyn. I don't know how I was playing Brooklyn is, is going to go, but looking at this, after Trey Young with John Collins, then it was Danilo Gallinari, regardless, man, I ain't going to lie. I don't know what we're going to be doing with Gallo, but I'm definitely trying to focus on the young players. I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely trying to focus on the young players here. So we got to figure out that entire situation, and before I do anything... I'm gonna make one key change. All right, I want to see like I, I want to see Cam and DeAndre Hunter out there. I think that's the direction that they need to be moving in. And even here, I mean, sorry, bro, sorry, dog. I gotta get my guys some more minutes. So let's hop into it. round number one. We got the Nets. Obviously, you guys know this Nets team is fuego. It's straight fire. They take game one. They take game two. We actually take a game. Yeah, I don't think that we're coming back. We get dropped off in season one, but I don't think that that was by anybody's surprise. And hey, the Mavs won a championship. So the first big thing that I'm actually going to be doing is firing Lloyd Pierce, even though we finally did make the playoffs. I think he just doesn't have enough experience. I mean, the Hawks were his first coaching job. I'm going to try out another system, and I'm going to try it out with Mike D'Ansoni. I think that this system with Trey Young would actually be kind of scary. And just looking at this team and, like, the spacing on it, this could really work. I mean, John Collins can, like, shoot. Gallo can shoot. 
DeAndre Hunter can shoot. Cam Reddish can shoot. So next up, we're going to be taking this trade, trading with Clint Capella in the 15th pick and Skylar Mays and hell, I'll, I'll even throw in a second round pick in return for Buddy Heald and Jay Crowder. If you guys do not know, there was a lot of talk about this deal going on and Buddy Heald ending up in Atlanta and I think that he just wants to get out of Sacramento. So disgruntled star, you guys get Clint. We kind of are giving up the most value in this trade. I ain't going to cap. We, we are giving up the most value, but we are getting back Jay Crowder. And I think that, that can help us out a lot as well. And I mean, we obviously upgrade with Buddy Heald. So I'm going to be starting on Yekka at center. And I'm sure the Lakers would love to have Jay Crowder on their team. And yeah, they, they really don't got anything to really give us. I mean, they can go ahead and have him because <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure that they'll take Jay Crowder over Kyle Kuzma, especially in the long run. And this is our lineup for season number two. It's going to be Trey Young. It's going to be Buddy Heald. Yeah, the defense in the backcourt. Terrible. But we also add in some defense with DeAndre Hunter. We got John Collins there. We got Onyeka there. And then our bench is straight fire with Gallinari, Killa Cam, Kevin Huter, Chris Dunn, and Kelly Olenek. Look, this team, this team has the potential to be really scary. I mean, they have us ranked 13th in the power ranking and what are they saying about us? They got us as a containing team and we, we really didn't make any real crazy moves but we got a lot of spacing i think that this might be the year that we can win a championship and we really ain't make all that many changes so let's just sit back let's see and trey young could possibly lead this team to a championship in his fourth season and at the end of this season i mean we end up being like the fourth seed in the conference so yeah i would think that we're a really good team once again luca puts up 2k type numbers and he somehow shoots 48 percent from the field that's some 2k logic but let's just move on man Cade cunningham is rookie of the year and i don't care about any of this stuff at all did our boy trey young make an all nba team and he's sitting right there at a 91 overall 23 years old on the second team now this year he put up 26 so his points did go down but he was still as efficient as ever he still put up 11 assists i mean he was doing this thing now we don't get anybody else but yeah that's not really a surprise for us uh, but this year we are the ford seed a higher seed than even philly was now as far as this year's stats behind him was buddy Hill, there was john collins so a lot of guys was eating bro cam was putting up 11 what was he shooting from the three-point line 39 percent and on yakka on Yekka, man, they got to turn up my boy's tendencies. Like, they got to go ahead and turn that up, man. Only eight points, eight boards. I mean, I do expect a little bit better, but overall, a really good team, and I think that we have a shot. We at least have a shot at doing something. Round number one versus Philly. The only person that I'm truly afraid of here is, of course, Matisse Thybul. The homie was so viral in the NBA bubble. I don't want to give him a viral moment dropping off this team. So let's see what we can actually do. We take game one, we take game two. Oh, hold on. This might be a little bit easier than I thought. And we sweep them, boys. And we got Brooklyn again. Now, Brooklyn, our only problem is Kevin Durant. DeAndre Hunter has put the clamps on him, or this might not go our way, but we are up two games. Come on, guys. Go up 3-1. We did it. Make it to the conference finals. Do not choke. We are in the conference finals, and we luck out. We get the Orlando Magic. What are the odds of the Orlando Magic making the conference finals? It's crazier odds than the Sacramento Kings having the number one seed and then making it there. Who is on this Kings team? I really want to know, did De'Aaron Fox just turn up? What? I understand that like we gave them Clint Capella. This team was the number one seed. So basically 2K is telling me that if De'Aaron Fox gets Lonzo and Jalen Johnson, this team is going to be, wait, 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 wait. How many centers do these guys have? They got one, they got two, they got three. They got four centers, five centers. That should all be getting minutes. Hey, man, I don't know about this, dog. I don't know about this. And then this Magic team, Cole Anthony, Jonathan Isaac, Evan Fournier. I can't get down with the cap 2K is putting on right now. I cannot do it. We better go up. We better advance right now. The Kings are in the end. Okay, guys, please let us win this game. Please let us win this game. 2K, do not hold me. Do not let us get dropped off. We're smoking them. Magic pack right now. Get the boys up out of there by 20 points. Trey Young with 27 and 10. 2K must really be messing with me right now, man. We really got the Sacramento Kings in the NBA Finals. And yeah, shouts out to De'Aaron Fox. I'm really happy that homie got paid. He definitely deserved it. But having Lonzo as shooting guard, I don't know exactly how that's going to go, but... This is a straight up Clint Capella revenge tour. This man left us and he's in the NBA Finals playing us. This is kind of a slap in the face, but you know what, guys? It's all good. We take game one. 
They take game two. We go up 2-1. We go up 3-1. And can we be getting our first championship with the only real move that we made here was getting Buddy healed. That's kind of nuts. It's a four-point game. I'm clearly going to hop in. I want to see what this Kings hype is about. I, I don't know how on earth they have this high of a seed, but the fact that they got here, I don't know whether to, like, be concerned should i be checking out more like king's game or is 2k just on something else they might be on one okay see see trey 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 that backdoor code was nasty bro where you at all right let's get some easy money with trey young man and i like fox hold on i like fox side set for the three still stop playing with me bro they don't want no smoke with trey young right now let's cut it out come on <laughs> Cut it out. Come on. Come on. Oh, good steal. Good steal. Buddy healed. I see you in the corner for three. Bro, you, you, you got to finish that, buddy. We traded for you so that you can make that shot. You got to make that shot now. That matchup is scary. We got to relax. Because like, I feel like if I get a shot off, I can definitely make it. Especially with, with Trey Young. Oh, my gosh. He's tired. Right to the rack on Yekka. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to be coming back for the next game. I, I expect us to, you know, handle that. But De'Aaron Fox played great. He's not trying to go home right now. So I got to give that man his credit. Unfortunately, I think this is where he takes his L. And it's perfect because we're going to get this W at home. I mean, we are the Atlanta Hawks. Oh, my gosh. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that these guys are going to force a game. They are forcing a game seven on us. What on earth is going on right now? 2K is on a different type of timing it's a four point game with two minutes and 30 seconds left trey young has 17 he's not shooting all that well De'Aaron fox is kind of carrying them i'm gonna jump in and try to seal the deal here i want to see if there is any chance for us to win this championship right now in game seven versus the dude this is legitimately against the sacramento kings oh good block by on man look at my timing it's yeah that's all me right there that's all me. DeAndre Hunter to the rack. Let's go. Now, why are my starters not in the game? Why are my starters not in the game, coach? 2K has us really battling against the Kings. And no offense to, like, the Kings. I mean, we we are the Hawks. But, like, at least this Hawks team, I mean, look at look at the players that, like, we got on this team, bruh. Cam, I need you to do, do something crazy. Step back. I'm pulling it. Green! Let's go. Finally. 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 Killer Cam is saving us, man. I don't know how on earth he made that, but we needed it. Come on. I need clamps here. I need clamps here. I need clamps here. We That's clamps. Watch out, son. Watch out, son. Come on. I'm. Oh, my gosh. On Yekka, I need your help. Oh, he jumped. Let's go. Whoo, let's go. Your boy is turning up right here. Look at my boy on Yekka. <laughs> that man hit him with a pump fake and dunked on his heads up. I'm putting in the defensive team, and I cannot. Cam Reddish. <laughs> Cam saved us. Oh, my gosh. Fox is so damn fast. But I know he wants this last shot. I know he wants it. Heck no. I was about to say, we got that ring, baby. We got that ring, baby. Season number two, we only brought in Buddy Heald. We traded away Clint. We started on Yekka, and... That's pretty much all we did, and we just let these guys develop. And look at the Atlanta Hawks. Right after Luka won his ring last year, we got our ring in season number two. But since it was so fast, I want to see how many rings this team can win in a row, y'all. I think it is insane that we got so lucky to meet up with the Orlando Magic and then the Sacramento Kings and Mike D'Antoni. No more jokes on him. He got himself a ring. He got himself a ring, guys. You guys got to go ahead and drop a like on it. Look at us getting a ring in season number two. Of course, the homie Trigger Trey is the MVP. Yo, Ice Trey, Trigger Trey. We call him all the Knicks names in this video. We got a ring in season number two. That's a massive W. Like, that is a massive W that I did not see coming. And in the end, the Atlanta Hawks are the NBA champions. And Trey Young was found as MVP, averaging 29 points, 11 assists. And he shot 46% from the three. He was really on a different type of timing, y'all. But we're coming back for another season. You guys know, man. We won one that fast. You know I got to do it again. And I think the scariest part about this is that this team is relatively the exact same team that they have in real life. Look at us having the Thunders pick, y'all. W's, W's, W's. But, guys, let me know in the comment section below. Can Trey Young lead this team to a ring? I think it's possible. I think that Trey Young 
I know that a lot of people call him out because his team is not winning games. However, if you look at the team that he's playing with, it makes sense why they are not winning games. It's a really, really bad team. However, this team has so much potential with Trey Young, Collins, with Onyeka now, with Hunter. I think Cam Reddish could really be that third guy. I really think that, and I still think that. This team can be really scary, y'all. Like, that's what I'm thinking, but let's get into this offseason. I might be trading away this sixth overall draft pick. Unless I can find somebody to draft, unless I can package this with somebody, like, I might just keep Gallo. I mean, we just want to ring. And heading into season number three, we are the reigning champs. They got us 14th in the power ranking, so they are really kind of disrespecting us. Really kind of disrespecting us. But looking at this team, same starting lineup as last year. The bench is still as solid as possible. The human embodiment of Black Air Force Ones. We brought in Patrick Beverly. You guys know that we had to do it. And... Uh, I mean, as far as this guy goes, I want to play him, but I want to chill out as well. I might throw Buddy in the G League. Now, I know that that is very unrealistic. I understand that. I get that. But we got so many guys in our rotation. We might as well just throw him down there just so that just so that he can develop. Because right now, he's not even getting any kind of tick anyway. So, we might as well chill out and just use what we currently have. And at the end of season number three, once again, by no one surprised, it's Luka. But this year, we are the second seed. And as far as the stats go, here they are. If you want to pause and, you know, see them things, Cam Reddish is putting up 15 points off the bench. Like, what more could I possibly ask for? He's playing his role just perfectly. And looking at Hammonds, Hammonds, oh my gosh, this man went down and overall, dang, we was better off just playing, oh boy. But we got the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, the Bucks got Devontae Graham. They lost, they lost Giannis. All right, let's 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 pack these boys up. I hate being the second seed. I, I forgot how toxic it actually is. But looking at this Knicks team, yo, they keep, yo, why are the Knicks in love with Tim Hardaway, bro? <laughs> these guys love Tim Hardaway. I'm pretty sure that this is his third time back on this team. And it looks like they got rid of RJ Barrett for Tim Hardaway and Tristan Thompson. Hey, this should be fun. And they're somehow the third seed, and we're back in the conference finals this year. We got the Bulls. Now, who do the Bulls have on their team? They got K. Oh, oh my gosh. This team's tough. This team is really tough. Back in the NBA finals, the Golden State Warriors, they have the same team that they have in real life. Literally the exact same team. Except James Wiseman is now an 89 overall. Okay, don't know how, how this team was the sixth seed. Um, but it is a tied series. We go up to one. Oh, never mind. This team ain't nothing. Or oh, let me chill. We are back to back NBA champions, you guys. The Atlanta Hawks. Maybe I was wrong about them. Maybe they have all the building blocks they need to win a ring. We just went back to back. I'm going for one more season. I really want to see if this team can three peat. And the Boston Celtics did not make the playoffs. They went 35 and like 47. And you guys know what that means. See, you guys. I'm going to go after and make a trade. A pretty big trade. Well, maybe not the biggest trade, but I'm not going after Tatum or anything, but I'm going after Jalen Brown. Mainly because this provides us with shooting. I mean, Jalen Brown can shoot as well. I mean, let's look at his stats. Of course, it's not bad. Okay, a 91-3. I, I want him even more. You guys can go ahead and you guys can take Buddy Heald. You guys can take Gallo. You, like, you, you, you guys can take whoever you want. <laughs> like, to be honest, you, you guys can take whoever you want. Kevin as well. Or do you guys, you guys, you guys probably want Kevin more than you guys want Gallo, uh, right? And I'll also go ahead and I would throw in some of these young pieces that, that we picked up, like Trevor Hammonds. I throw him in the deal. We're, we're giving you guys the bag. You guys are getting Buddy Hield, Kevin, Dante Spencer, Jamie Hillard, and two first round picks. We get Jalen Brown. You guys don't need, you guys didn't even make the playoffs, man. And he has one year left on his deal. I'm pretty sure he wants to come back home to Atlanta. No? Throw in a first. You guys are just... In the finals we get clay thompson over here and i'm not done making moves and for season number three this is our lineup it's pretty much the exact same thing but we're plugging in clay thompson cam reddish is starting it's this team we're gonna go three feet they still have us ranked as 11th back to buying but you guys know that last year that made no difference this team is gonna win a championship for the third year in a row and look at us even the number one seed and they still are giving our mvps to luca man the system gotta be fixed clay thompson 15 cam 13 you know john collins with, with a light 20 everyone is doing their jobs on the echo with 13 boards nearly two and a half blocks i like what i'm seeing bro 
I like what I'm seeing. And on Yeka, he's shooting 30% from the three. Not bad. Really, really not bad. Now, can we win this thing? Round one versus the Washington Wizards. I wanted the clean sweep, but they still get knocked out. Up against the Knicks in round number two, uh, Thomas Bryant. I was going to say that Onyeka should eat, but if Trey Young don't put up 30 or 40 on Theodore May, we are doing something wrong. <laughs> we are doing something drastically wrong. We go up 2-0 again. Let's get that sweep. Let's get it back in the conference versus the Charlotte Hornets with LaMelo Shea. And then it goes straight downhill to Gordon Hayward <laughs> and PJ Washington and Nick Richards. We should also eat now. Trey Young versus Luka is a very interesting matchup. I kind of like it. Let's go. We are back in the NBA Finals. And the Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic, they signed Scary Terry. And they got Jokic. Dallas is always trying to build this super European team. Like, you guys had Chris Stops. Y'all swapped it out and said, give me Jokic. Like, this team... It's kind of scary, not going to lie. And they take the first two games. I'm back in SimCast, man. I'm back in SimCast. We got to find a way to, to put Luka in jail or something, bro. I need Luka Doncic guarded by Klay Thompson. And I need Klay to clamp him up. Like, please, please smother him, deny him the ball, go over all of the screens, all, all of that stuff. Keep that man in check. And look. I do that, and we're instantly, okay, they came back, they came back, hold on, Luka, I don't like you, Trey Young had 39 and 12, I'm 70% from the three, 47, 10, and how, we, we can't make it here and get swept, though, we can't get swept, though, that cannot happen, all right, at least we're not getting swept, Trey Young with 28, can we make them blow a 3-0 lead, come on, guys, it's been done before, it's been done before, just make it happen, come on, close game, we take another game. Let's go. Let's go. Force the game seven, Trey. I know that you don't want to go home. I know you don't want to go home, man. Especially at the hands of Luka. You do, do not want to go home. It's tied up. I'm jumping in right now. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home at all. Come on, man. Starters in the game. Clay Thompson. Oh, good. good. Let's go. Let's go, Clay. Let's go, Clay. Whoo. Let's go. I'm taking this. Oh my gosh, they didn't even take a, oh! Let's go, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. Trey Young is going crazy, man. Trey Young is really trying to win, and he's getting all the MVP chance. Come on. Oh my gosh, dude, ah! Oh man, Luka cold, man. <laughs> Luka is cold, I'm not even gonna lie. Luka is cold. Oh my gosh. Hunter, please make this. Please make this. Let's go. We, let's, that's the clutchness that I needed. I had to trust DeAndre Hunter in the corner. Because if he missed it, we would have been toast. But we're up by three. Yes, he's shooting a bad percentage, but it don't even matter. We got to force the game seven right now, man. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Please get in front of him. Please get in front of him. No, 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 no. He missed. He missed. You can have that. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We're putting Trey at the line. Foul him. She was like 90% from the free throw line. We good. We good. I trust in Trey Young at the line. Them, all those MVP chants, we up by two regardless. Step up. If he gets a three, we lose. And if, if Luka hits his three on us, I, I, I might just start crying. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I know. I know he's pulling a three. I know he is. I'm there. I am there. I am there. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's a bad, bad shot. I care what anybody says. That's a bad shot. That story won't be told that it was a bad shot. Um, we live with that. Oh my gosh. Guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 2K, patch this man. Patch this man immediately. Patch this man immediately. I know y'all just saw that. Guys, what was that shot? That was a bad shot. I don't care. I'm on, I am on my Paul George wave right now. That was a bad shot. I am hating just like Paul George was. Bad shot, bad shot. I don't care. He shouldn't have made that shot. <laughs> he should have made that shot. Dude, I had Cam Reddish all over him. Hand up. Hand up in his face. If you guys saw that, 
I need you guys to spam up Patch Luca right now in the comment section. If you guys made it this long into the video, spam up Patch Luca in the comment section below. I don't know what that was, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But yo, guys, in all seriousness, yo, shouts out to Luka Doncic. Of course, he spawned his MVP. 39 points, 11 boards, 11 assists. Oh my gosh, that three is going to give me nightmares, guys. But regardless, we were not able to three people. But we made the finals in three seasons in a row. And we won back-to-back -back NBA championships. Our final roster, we had Trick or Trey. Let me know in the comment section below. Is Trey Young that guy? I think he is. We had John Collins. We had Onyeka Okungu, who finished out at an 88 overall. He's going to be good on this team, and he compares a lot to Bam. I see a lot of Bam in him as well. We had Klay Thompson. We had Cam Reddish. We had DeAndre Hunter. We had Kevin Huter. We had Trevor Hammonds, who, whoever these guys are. We had Chris Dunn. We had Fernando. We had all these guys on our team, even DJ Wilson, man. Regardless, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and like it up. Go ahead and subscribe. Check out my new rebuilding series and literally all the other rebuilds that I've done on Next Gen. All of the links to those playlists are in the description below. Check out all of the videos on this channel and let me know in the comment section below. Will Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks eventually win a championship? They got so much young talent that literally, if they develop it, it can be really, really scary. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I can't believe that Luca hit that. That I can't believe that he hit that bad shot on us, man. It's crazy. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm out, guys. Peace.